Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how easy it is to edit an existing keynote um, within Autodesk Revit using Easy Keynoter. I'm going to modify this keynote here by holding down my mouse button uh, control key and drag and drop and I will select that to Firth Concrete Masonry. I'm now going to, I want to edit this first Firth Concrete Masonry into Firth Concrete Masonry block. So there's two ways to do that. I can um, pre-select it and click on the edit icon or I can double click on, on here to bring us into the edit keynote mode. So if in here we can change the keynote number, um, remembering it has to be a unique number and Easy Keynote will keep track of that. Um, we can change the text. Um, so in this case I'm going to click on override auto text formatting because I want it to stay in caps and my settings I know is in title, title case. So I'm going to type in test here. I'm going to put this to a discipline of architectural and I'm going to add a comment. Um, change the architectural. Um, I can click on show history. There's only one history item in, in this keynote when it was actually imported so that's fine and we're going to go OK. Now Easy Keynote will change it um, within Easy Keynote user interface. It also um, does a, a reload and refresh of the Revit Keynote file so um, it's doing all the hard work in the background for you um, and keeping everything in sync. Now if I uh, move my mouse over first concrete masonry text um, test you'll notice that the tooltip has changed to reflect those changes made previously and it's now showing a the comment change to architectural. If I middle mouse button on this it will now show the full history of the changes um, made to the keynote. So that is how easy it is to modify and edit um, keynotes within Autodesk Revit using Easy Keynoter. Enjoy.